Over here, we've got the olive tree, which I bought off of Amazon. <laughs> Can you tell I've been having a lot of fun on Amazon lately? Over here, I've got the, that was from Ikea, wasn't it? Isn't this the one I got at Ikea? I don't remember. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, that cannot possibly be from Ikea, but yeah, no, it's Ikea. That's not how you say it. Ikea. There we go, thank you. <laughs> You're like that creepy guy. I'll do the whole video like this. No, stop. <laughs> that did not hurt. Oh, I need a kiss. <laughs> I'm going to punch you. More <laughs> likely than I can. Well, hello and happy Friday to you guys. The sun is shining, the candles are lit, and the house smells amazing. And I realize that I have not shown you this other side, the uh, casual side of the house on video. So I thought, let's just show everybody what I've been doing on this side because I've actually been doing a lot. And uh, Jack is here with me. He just made me another coffee. Can you say hi? Hi. He's gotta get his glasses. Sorry. <laughs> he just doesn't, you know, it doesn't look like him without them. <laughs> no, I do not. There so uh, Jack's been making me my uh, morning coffee, which I am actually, it's morning you, coffee. There's, yeah, no, it's one ten. It's one ten. And I'm just having my morning coffee. It's just been one of those days. Look at the little bird on the tree right there. Oh, oh my gosh, she's really pretty. It's beautiful. All of the trees are blooming. There's no way I'm gonna be able to turn this thing around fast enough to show you, but all the trees are blooming. It's really starting to feel like spring here in Atlanta. Oh yeah. And my arm is still not long enough to get your head in this. So. <laughs> And my hair is always a mess. A I'm like, oh my gosh, I turned the camera on. I'm like, why didn't I think about my hair before? <laughs> there you go. That's us. So I thought that we could just give you guys a tour and I'll show you what's new, what's going on, on the casual side, like the informal side of our house. If you missed the tour of the living room, we did that recently. So definitely check that out as well. And of course, hit subscribe because we're going to keep giving you tours of rooms and as we like get them ready for the season. But we've got a lot to show you today because I've changed a lot and I'm like, ooh, they haven't even seen the light. <gasps> I've There's done, a lot I've done, I've done a lot. Yeah. So, okay, let's jump in. Okay, so where do we want to start, Jack? Where do we want to start? Should we start over in the sunroom? I know you're, but you can't be directly behind me. What are you what doing? Do. Well, I don't want to block the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna turn the camera around and I'll show them learn. that. <laughs> You're like that creepy guy. I'll do the whole video like this. No, stop. <laughs> that did not hurt. Oh, I need a kiss. I'm gonna punch you more <laughs> likely than a kiss. <laughs> oh, do you wanna like, I think start over okay, here. Okay, shall we show you over here and then we'll work our way around. Okay, how about that? Okay, Let's let me turn it. you around because, you know. <laughs> We're not really that pretty to look okay. at. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I know that a lot of times we give you all the pans and all the fancy schmancy stuff, but I think sometimes you kind of miss out on what's happening in a room when I don't just walk you around. And if you have been tuned into the channel for a while, you will know that a lot has changed in here. So, Jack, are you still lurking? Look at Jack. Man. Oh, he's like, oh, we're not using the big camera? <laughs> no, I'm moving stuff for you. Oh, we still have to put the milk away. It's just sitting out. My, oh. I've just like left things. <laughs> the house is not perfect. Sometimes it's nice, I think, for you guys to see. I, I like it, I guess. When I see magazine pictures and videos of certain people's homes, sometimes I just, when they're like, oh, I, this is just being honest. We saw like, I think uh, Shay McGee said, we make blueberry pancakes on our stove every day. And you're like, do you really do that? Right. <laughs> because it looks so perfect. I know, it's so perfect. So, speaking of perfect, and then we're just looking at you. I so. know, I just, <laughs> when you look it up in the dictionary, this is the picture. It is, it is, so right. perfect. I'm sure the furniture, <laughs> I feel really awkward suddenly. <laughs> no, but I think it's really important to see that this is actually what our house looks like on literally on a Friday. This, this is what our home looks like. And this is how we actually live. So yeah, there's just like a quick pan. Uh, Jack went out and trimmed back a little bit more of the camellia bush away from the house. So I have a be big, beautiful branch, but he also very sweetly went and got me some greens this morning. He's very, very sweet. <laughs> Look at that, scoring brownie points, goes to the store and did some grocery shopping and picked up some greenery. 
and I've got stuff sitting out. I'm gonna be showing you guys some recipes that we're working on. I still have just gotten all the stuff unpacked from our beach trip, but I've got some fun candles to show you, and yes, oh yes, that's right, a new light. So, yeah, okay. I feel like I just like gave you an overview. I now know, let's like, let's walk here. back over here for a second, shall we? So sofa is still the same and the rug is the same. And then if you remember, we got the new coffee table of just, a, I think it's been a few weeks now and we absolutely love it. The sofa still so comfortable and I always put down in the show notes what the sofa is and the fabric that it's in. So in case anybody is looking for a solid recommendation, I can tell you that we absolutely love this sofa. It's from West Elm, and it's actually pretty affordable even though it does look pretty luxe. Uh, some of the other things, did you notice that I have a new lamp? <laughs> this lamp, oh man, Landon told me earlier, he said, mom, I love that lamp. He loves it because it moves and uh, I am the one that always sits over in this corner. I think I mentioned this in another video before about how we had kind of messed up the way that the lighting was done in here because I had the light over here and nobody wanted the light there. So I have now painted a new painting and just thrown stuff at that, at that canvas and used one of my samples and created a little piece of artwork for there and then switched out the lamp to over here and I found that at the RH outlet and it is so sculptural and so beautiful and I just absolutely love it. It's just the perfect piece. So yeah, sorry, I'm still learning how to do these little <laughs> vlog cameras. I'm like, how do I get it to light the room? I know, I out it's so it. dark. How do I get to like up the light on it? I don't know how to switch it to manual or whatever. Okay, well, it's a little dark, is Jack. Dark? Yeah, like it won't like actually add light to it. Okay, so yes, we can't figure out how to make the camera light the room better. Sorry guys, there, there it goes. Okay, <laughs> I am so sorry. Is this gonna have a little bit of a learning curve, okay, on this camera, you guys just forgive us, okay? Because we're gonna get the hang of it and we're just gonna be vlogging rock stars. <laughs> but this has this really great little switch on it and you can actually have that light where it dims and it is absolute perfect. Perfection. It's the exact piece that I needed for in here and I just love it. So then I think it was really interesting though that you didn't even talk about was what? why we Why, we, <laughs> why you don't why like we being were, close? No. That's what you do to me all the time. Know, I'm like, I'm old. Stop getting so close. Everybody um, watches this thing in like 4k <laughs> I know don't you don't want to be 4k No <laughs> No, but like we changed it out because the other one wasn't functioning. Like oh, I just for said us. that. Yeah, but you didn't talk about like how the kids basically hated the other light. Oh, I did just say that, oh. silly. <laughs> I just said that the light was over there and that they hated it because they were sitting over there and I was oh, sitting yeah, over okay. here. Yeah. So I I sit here and read magazines. You rarely watch a show without reading. I I, I don't. <laughs> Otherwise, I fall asleep yeah, because I work too much so, and never sleep. So no, but that was a really good move, and now it's perfect. It is perfect, actually, and I love that it adds a little sculptural yeah. element. And you guys ask us all the time about our fig tree. <laughs> well, this is a real fig tree, guys. It's Everyone not a foe. Fake. Yeah, no, it's actually real. And I have to tell you, we don't have it planted, and the reason why is because we're able to pull that out and stick it in the bathtub and just give it a dose of water, like literally just soak it through. So you guys ask us all the time about that and I'll show you, can I, it's the other one in the other room? The other one's in the, the family room. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna show you, gosh, this room is definitely not ready for guests, but it's not too bad. I wanted to stop and take just a moment to thank our video sponsor for today, which is Butcher Box. A few days ago, I hate it so much. Jack was so enthusiastic. He took all the meat out of the box. Everything comes in a box and it's all, uh, got the freezer cubes and everything. It's amazing, but he was so enthusiastic about pulling everything out. And then he uh, put the box away before I got a video of it. But everything came uh, neatly packed in the box. It comes right to your door. And I'm absolutely blown away by what we've received. This, it's absolutely incredible. So with Butcher Box, you get to choose from several different boxes, the packages that they kind of have offer. And you get to choose what kind of meat you want, how much you want, you get to choose how often you get it. 
And what I love most about Butcher Box is that they are really focused in on sustainability, providing the highest quality meat. They offer delicious 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, pork-raised, crate-free, uh, humanely raised pork and wild caught seafood. I also love the fact that they only work with farmers and fishermen who meet the highest quality standards. So I I was expecting just to, ex I was honestly expecting just a little, a couple things <laughs> to arrive in the mail, but instead it was this incredible box and I cannot believe the value that is here. I'm, I'm pretty blown away by it. It's incredible. So they sent us the Alaskan salmon and Jack has actually taken some of that out and he's got it defrosting here because we're going to be making some of that this evening and you can see how he's got it defrosting. Everything from pork, we have pork loin, we've got the ground beef. I definitely foresee maybe a, a grilling out night at our house. We've got, what else do we have? We've got these uh, grass-fed beef filet mignon. Oh my gosh. It's unbelievable. And then we've also got the grass-fed beef ribeye steaks. So um, I'm blown away. So Butcher Box is having a flash sale and I can't believe this. They are offering wings for life. New members will receive three pounds of organic chicken wings free in every Butcher Box for the lifetime of their membership. I'm like, uh, let's sign up immediately because uh, Parker's favorite thing to eat is wings. And I'm like, that is some serious value. So definitely check out our link. Click on the link below to get wings for life. Plus free shipping is always included. So I will leave all the details down below in the show notes for you guys. I definitely highly recommend that you check this out and stay tuned till the end of the video because we're going to be cooking up some of this yummy, the scallops and the salmon for tonight. And uh, I have a certain little boy. See, scallops are my favorite and Landon's favorite is the salmon. He is obsessed with it. So we're going to have some fun making some recipes with you guys in just a bit. So yeah, so definitely check everything out down below and let's get back to our little tour. Okay. This one we actually planted. Okay, and then we put the moss on top. And the problem is, is that if you soak it all the way through, then it's gonna come out, it's gonna leak out the bottom and there's gonna be water everywhere. And so- It's not doing well. It's- We have to rescue this one. It's in really bad shape. Like I told Jack, I was like, I need you to take this away from me because it's depressing me. It, it's, it's got a lot of new growth on the top. Yeah, I know, but it's it's a mess. But so I it. Uh, if you guys have fig tree tips, Oh my gosh, this, it just, it, my heart actually hurts looking at this, so. Once we had it in a little bit of a dark space. Yeah, I can't figure out of the shade, but no, baby, I think this is just from not being, it's not being watered enough. So yeah, it looks good like this. We're back and then you guys can see, I've actually, are those the handles I from, so. I got, while we're sitting here, I can actually show you. Can you help me take one of these out? Yeah. So I don't have to try to do that with one hand. So yes, we're getting ready to renovate Dr. Ferris's home, which we've helped him to purchase the home and now we'll be renovating the home with him. And we're doing it on an extremely tight budget because he wants to buy a second house to turn into an Airbnb. So we have to save some serious money on the house that's coming up. So I found these incredible handles that have the knurling on them, which look very similar to the ones that I have in my own house. And I was hoping to use these on his, but actually they're not the right size. So I will leave a link for you guys. These are, they had them in like three and three quarters and a couple other sizes, but they didn't have them in the size that I needed for his house. So I've got something else that I ordered. Did I say I got these from Home Depot? Did I say that? I don't know. I can't remember if I said that, but uh, yeah. I mean, if you guys know what our, I'll show you our handles in a minute. I cannot believe, I, don't even ask how much I paid for mine, okay? We just won't talk about it. I paid a lot and they're like- These didn't exist when fancy. we- No, it's because I came out with mine and now they make lower priced ones yeah. <laughs> for everybody else. But uh, yeah, mine are from like an incredible like industrial design company. Is my hair like a mess? Cause I can't see what- No, I'm you look beautiful. You say that and then afterwards I'm like, why didn't you tell me I had a big old fuzzy on my boob and like something on my face? <laughs> I don't, do you want me to be watching for that now? <laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave a link for you guys for these because they're incredible and they're super affordable. They were like 
three or four dollars and they came in six. like a week versus ours which took well, ours took months ours took <laughs> months came in less than a week actually because there was a couple days there was a blacksmith handcrafting ours or something yeah they were actually on so. another planet and we had to send a rocket no, to go get them in the uk <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're based on the cost i'm pretty sure there's a rocket involved <laughs> give me that camera back <laughs> <laughs> all right jack you are <laughs> Oh, oh, and oh, while we're talking about this, why don't I show you guys? I actually got some more handles, and that is actually our own handles, and those are for our closet. <laughs> okay, so the closet is going to be installed in a few days, and I'm so excited because these are the gorgeous leather handles that came in from CB2, and I am just freaking out. And I'm so excited because they were on back order, and look at how many there are. So it's making me very, very happy. But uh, yeah, while we're over here, I can show you my handles, which I, these are a lot more substantial. There's a lot more to this, uh, so. Yeah, these, I mean. Right, I mean, I knew that I had these big, big cabinets and I wanted to mimic the refrigerator because at the time we did not have, we did not have the money. No. <laughs> to do an integrated refrigerator. No. Now I would, but it's been five years. I would do it integrated. Like we've saved a lot more, you know? We, we worked a lot more, but back then we just didn't have the money. So I wanted to mimic. What? Yeah, look, <sighs> that is Landon. Landon. Keeps that. Landon keeps bringing things to the refrigerator <laughs> and the two older kids are like, wow, third kid, huh? Third kid gets to put whatever he wants on yeah, mom's refrigerator. Yeah, the other kids don't do anything. And look at no. this one. Yeah. He's very proud. He, we've even got double of the same picture. He's like, it was so good that year. <laughs> it's twice as good as the other years. But yeah, we picked this up on a vacation one time and it scared the he living picks, bejeebies out of him. He picks out the funniest yeah. souvenirs from trips. He does. Like he does. crazy. He, he moved to Paris one time. They have all this cool stuff and he wanted an Eiffel Tower that lights up. Oh yeah, still have like it. Like 20 different colors. It's oh, crazy. Yeah. Yep, that was his favorite. Yeah. And then so, guy. so yeah. So anyways, yeah, these are the handles. In here, and these are actually meant to age uh, over time. So you can see they're starting to, oh, these, you to wear. Because these do really good. Hmm? These are a great example. Can yeah. you brush up against this all the time? Yeah, so you can see how it brushes off. So that's uh, that's why we, we just, uh, these are from Buster and Punch. I'll leave a link for both, but yeah. I mean, obviously the ones from <laughs> Home Depot are a lot more affordable than these were, but we just yeah. love them. So, yeah. So anyways, let's go. <laughs> that was like a... <laughs> This is gonna feel like so random in here. Uh, some of the other things that I added, I got this really cool table I found on Amazon. If you're not following our Amazon Live events, you need to follow them because I share all this stuff as it's arriving. And sometimes it, take me, it takes me a little bit longer to get it out to you guys. I also found this gorgeous blanket on Amazon as well. And I just love that fringing and the little raised pattern on it. I also found these pillows at, um, oh, we've got a fuzzy. Bye bye fuzzy. Found these on Amazon. I got this little crocheted one. I just feel like the need to like, kind of like, you know, make it look alive, but that's from West Elm and I loved all that crocheted detail on them. I thought that was gorgeous. And then I still have the H&M pillow. I think they actually brought it back out because so many of you guys were asking for it. They just brought that collection back into their, into their online shop. And then this one is from Pottery Barn. And I just love it. It's just so simple and classic. And I've had those literally for about five years, maybe even six. And they just last. Like this, I love classic patterns like these because you can just bring them back out every single season. Maybe mix in a new color or something like that. So yeah. And then I've got the knitted blanket. I think I got this one at Target, but I always leave a link for something similar. If I don't ha if the exact same one isn't available, I, I will always show it to you guys. And then I've got the gondola chair from CB2, which is one of my absolute favorite purchases of all times. And then we've got it's Landon's. Funny you call it a gondola chair. I call it the Star Wars chair. But it's actually called on the website. It's called gondola. I know. But I, I call it the Star Wars chair. You call it the Star Wars chair. Okay, it looks like one of the droids. Okay. <laughs> I always want to watch Star Wars when I sit in that chair. All right. Well, and then we have the article uh, sideboard here. The IKEA lamp. If you guys remember. That's an IKEA lamp. Uh huh. Yeah. This is that little um, alabaster little pyramid that we found at home goods 
You can see my stacks of Danish design magazines and we're dreaming of getting to Copenhagen soon. And we've got one of our favorite candles going here. It's the sweet tea one, it smells so good. It smells so good. And then I got these on the trip. Do you wanna hold this so I can? Yeah. Yeah, so I got these on the trip while we were down in Florida at that shop I showed you guys a tour of on our last Friday would be um, that was at Mast. And I was afraid I didn't have room in the car to bring them home. So they actually just shipped them home for me. And I've got one other thing in the kitchen I'll show you as well. But I just love how sculptural these are. And I love the ceramics that are from this. It's from Alex Marshall Studios. And you can definitely get these through Mast if you're interested. I have them in black as well, but this time I treated us to the white set because I'm constantly moving the black ones from room to room and I thought maybe I just need another set. <laughs> so, Are you going to show them the mugs too? Yeah, I'll show them the mug. Yeah, okay. I've got the mug sitting out here actually. Okay. And then on the table I've got the Pottery Barn base and I think this was the one from West Elma. Nope, Pottery Barn as well. That was in that latest spring haul. You guys always ask me about this bust and I just love it. I got it off of Etsy and it comes in a couple colors and I think it's just exquisite. I actually wish that they maybe make this in bigger sizes. I do too. That's awesome. It's incredible. And then uh, I bought this box literally years ago from H&M. Oh my gosh. Do we get asked about that box? We do. Oh, anytime you post it, I'll get at least 50 people. They don't people. sell it anymore. It's from H&M Home. It was just inexpensive. It was like $10 probably. Well guys, if you're interested, let us know because we are selling it for $12,000 <laughs> as of right now. So. Yes, and the... Uh, Skull. The skull's another 5,000. So if you want the collection, 20,000, we'll call it even. Well, everybody asked about these and they were from H&M like, I don't know, like 10 years ago or something. I know. This is one of the things I found on Amazon as well. Again, watch our Amazon Lives because I share these with you. A lot of times this stuff will sell out as well. Every Saturday, 11 a.m. It's your standard time. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We've got the, the plug for it fully in there. But yeah, they're really cool and they look really high end, but they were actually really affordable. And I just think it just all kind of comes together. Everyone's been asking, where is Jack's cabinet? Because I think a lot of you were like, she took it away from me. I know, poor guy. They were like, feeling bad for Jack. I'm like, no, I gave it a place of honor. We really did. It's right here. <laughs> so this is the one that we found at the West Elm outlet. I've got the vase, which can be found on Amazon, and I usually leave two links for that because they sell out all the time. We've got the glorious Nespresso machine and the coffee mugs that we got from Mast while we were down in That's Florida. That's more Alex Marshall stuff, right? Alex Marshall Studios, yeah. yeah. We are having chats with them about maybe having something made specifically for us, but it's gonna be a while. Like everything, everything takes a while when you wanna have stuff done, so. We love it. But those are my favorite, officially my new favorite coffee mugs. I know they're. I can't incredible. stop using them. So down here we have a mix of uh, pods. <laughs> I call it the morning and after cabinet. Morning yeah. and afternoon cabinet. Yeah, it really is. It's like the bottom is more afternoon, and then the top has like I have this beautiful. Little I think you've sugar ever showed bowl. anyone this cabinet inside? I don't think so. I've got that beautiful sugar bowl, which does not have much sugar because we try not. I try to limit the sugar in the house. Jack just is like, bring it on. I do not. I just prefer it in Little Debbie form. <laughs> <laughs> this is one that my friends actually bought me as a going away it's gift. It's beautiful. And it's from Royal Copenhagen. And then we've got some fun, we're actually gonna be using these today. This is the Floral Collection by Monin, and it's got a hibiscus. It's got elderflower, hibiscus, rose, lavender, and violet. What? So we're gonna be using the hibiscus in a little bit to make some drinks. Over here, we have the Ikea table. I still keep dreaming of switching this out, but we just haven't found the right thing just yet. So it keeps staying. But I thought it'd be really fun for the spring season to take out the West Elm chairs that we had in here, which were a little bit heavier, and switch them up with something that had all this gorgeous caning on it. So I got these actually off of Amazon. That's not gonna surprise you. But uh, they have a little bit dusty, but... That's Landon's chair. Oh, yeah. It's probably debris. Probably. They are gorgeous. And I'm really enjoying this deep, rich walnut in here. And I yeah, think me it, too. Actually, like when you look at the room, having the wood and this lighter color just really makes the kitchen kind of pop. So at the moment, I've actually switched the, the chairs that were here out in a different place in the house. So 
I don't know if these will stay long term or if the other ones will come back or maybe we'll use them both. I like it because if we were to redo the kitchen right now, I would still go a dark color, but I would love some walnut mixed in. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have the walnut stools as well. But this is my here, favorite color. The humongous shell. I got this off of We found this on the song. beach, guys, the other day. Oh, yeah, I got this off the beach. <laughs> Can you imagine? We're so good. I'd be running. Yeah. That no. thing's like. No, I got this off of Amazon, weirdly enough. And then the vase is one of the ones I showed you guys that we got from Pottery Barn. And it's got Jack's greens that he went and got me. Over here, we've got the olive tree, which I bought off of Amazon. <laughs> Can you tell I've been having a lot of fun on Amazon lately? But uh, yeah, this was like a hundred bucks and it's not the best faux tree. I think we might actually put something in here that's real because there is actually enough sun here. Oh, it would love it. Sun would love it. We mean. tried something bigger and it was in everybody's way because the <laughs> space is actually really small. Yeah, it is. We can barely get a six person table in here. And we have six people every single night for dinner. Six people every night and a lot of times the kids Seven. will have extra friends and then it's like, uh, what are we gonna do? So we've actually talked about moving because we're like, we don't have enough seats at the table. And then we're like, well, where are we gonna go? <laughs> we can't figure that out. So we'll just stay a while longer. A, yeah. long, a long while longer, I guess. So anyways, all right, moving along. Shall we show them the kitchen? Sure. And I've got the beautiful bowls, which we got. I haven't even cleaned them yet. I literally just have them sitting here waiting. I love this little stoneware set. I love that. They actually sell a whole entire dinner set like this. Really? Yeah. So I was looking at that because I was like, oh, that like really looks like. I really like that layer. set. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we got that. I loved this little box. Oh, I know. I so love that. So summery, isn't it? So we got that sitting there. And then the tea towels. It's funny because on the video, I was watching the last video where we were showing these and I was like, they're cotton. I'm like, they're not cotton. They're linen. So I posted some, I linked to some that are on. Uh, pottery barn because their stuff is actually, I can show you. Did you say they were cotton in the video? I did, and they're actually linen. Oh. So I was like, oh, someone's going to get me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is one that I got at Pottery Barn. So they do sell something somewhat similar at Pottery Barn, but um, the linen ones are a lot more expensive than the cotton. And I have also ordered cotton ones. If you want something less expensive, you can order these off of Amazon. So. I just love the tea towels. Is anybody else a tea towel person? You guys just tell me. I just like how it softens just to have it laying over stuff. You can see how a lot of times I will just take, where did I go? I'll take this and I'll just throw it over the, the stove over here. Or a lot of times you'll see it's just sitting out on the counter or something. So I just think it's a nice little thing to have. Over here, I've got the, that was from Ikea, wasn't it? Isn't this the one I got at Ikea? I don't remember. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, that cannot possibly be from Ikea, but yeah, no, it's Ikea. That's not how you say it. Ikea. There we go, thank you. <laughs> and then I uh, went back and got Jack one of those marble cheese boards with the wood at the holidays because he saw that I'd gotten it for several people and he was like, I know. Mine. Where's mine? So I went back and bought him one. So that sits there. And then we got the bread basket full of artichokes, which have now dried to a crisp. They, they, <laughs> Do they are, look authentic? I know. They are not fake, guys. <laughs> this is what happens when you buy stuff and forget it. Hey, I think they actually dried really They good. dried beautiful. And there's yeah. a little ginger underneath there, too. Yeah. Well, this is the sugar and creamer set that I also bought from Yeah, Mast. you can also tell that look. Oh my gosh, it's I love their ceramics. It's gorgeous. It's got the little, the little thumb piece there where you can hold it. And I just adore this. I love their stuff. I just love it so much. Then I also painted a new painting for up here. And the funny thing is, is that I literally just dumped the paint over. Literally just took the can that you I had. You really did. And stuck it down in the middle and just sort of moved the paint around. And a little bit of green ended up coming out from just the undertone of the actual paint. And that's Landon's favorite color. And he was like, oh, did you do that for me? And I was like, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, totally. So now I'm like, I don't know that I'm going to paint over the green. No, I really like it. I think I'm just going to lay the green. Like, that is as authentic of a messy mess as you can possibly have. And I love it. It's it so like fun. It was like half dried paint. Like it wasn't even like really legit like. <laughs> well, and it was cold and you did it in the basement. It was cold in the basement. So I think that's why some of the pigment didn't yeah, mix in. It, but it's so I think cool. It actually looked, ended up pretty cool. Yeah. So that's a pretty good 
good tour, right? That was a really good tour. Gonna show you all the new stuff. Knowing Jack's like, we'll just do another official tour later. And I'm like, eh, I'll change the room by then. You'll change the room by then. <laughs> I just love just that act of the, the sort of, we talk about that all the time, like the art of living and the way in which you live. And, and for me, like the, the blanket that's laying on the sofa right now is not going to stay there because Landon will lay with me on a Friday night, watch a movie, he takes it upstairs, and then another one ends up down here. So I'm going to be making an oven baked risotto with lemon asparagus and egg yolk. This is out of the Staub cookbook. And I bought the, it's expensive. I, I mean, it's oh, honestly it is, expensive, yeah, the Staub pan, which, can you pull that out and show them? Okay, so I decided I wanted to invest in Le, Le Coquette, or I think that's how they say it. Coquette, maybe is how they say it in French. I don't speak French. We learned Spanish, Arabic, and Danish. French did not make the list. No. <laughs> so I apologize. A lot of times I pronounce things with an American or Spanish accent. <laughs> French. But anyways, I loved this piece. I had ordered it for an Amazon Live because we were doing an event about French items. And then when it came, I was like, that's not going back. No, it's not going back. We have made so many recipes in this and I'm telling you, you're, it's the best thing ever. The way that stuff cooks in it is completely different than in like a ceramic or any other kind of like, you know, metal pan or something like that. Yeah. So we are going to be making the asparagus and I'm not joking. You literally throw everything into that and stick it in the oven and there's no stirring or anything. When I made it the first time, I was like, this, yeah, is she's not, like, this is not gonna work. This is not how you make risotto. This is not how this goes. And it turned out to be absolutely amazing. So we'll meet you back here in just a little bit. We're gonna make that. And what was the drink you were gonna make? I don't remember. We've got the floral libations. I got this for Jack. Isn't that so fun? Which I think also... it would be a good Mother's Day or Father's Day gift yeah. as well. It's uh oh dark dark chocolate rose mocha. <gasps> Maybe I'll have that for an afternoon. We also got this off Amazon and we do Amazon live events every Saturday, at eleven AM Eastern Standard Time. They know time. that. Stop it. <laughs> what was the one you were gonna oh, make? Oh, oh the blackberry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blackberry hibiscus lemon drops. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's really fun and yeah, that's something to look forward to. So we're gonna go and get to work and we'll meet you guys back here in just a bit. All right, well, it's been a bit and I have switched into my uh, ripped jeans because this is actually my Friday uniform <laughs> and Jack is freezing me out of the house. So I've got a sweater on, but it is still the same day and I'm getting ready to start the rice. It, this is the, this is the oven baked risotto with lemon, asparagus and egg yolk, except that we forgot to get asparagus and I'm just gonna substitute that from green peas. And then I'm gonna cook up the scallions and the salmon, and it is going to be delish. It does help if you turn the heat on, just saying. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> that's a hard way to get started. I wish there was smell vision because the smell of this olive oil and the rice and onions and garlic. So good, it smells so good in here. Oh my goodness. This looks so good. Oh my it looks so goodness. Good. The entire meal from beginning to end was 45 minutes. Wow. That well, I guess technically it was less it was less than an hour. Because the stuff baked for 45 minutes and then while it did that we made everything else. So it's nice, yeah. I know. So uh yeah, let's how we test, test it out. Yes. Mmm. Amazing, Renato. I can't believe I made this at home. I can't either. This reminds me of that French restaurant that we went to. <laughs> Paid so Paid much a money. Lot of money for this is unbelievable. Yeah. That's what I was saying earlier. Is that Butcher Box is really adding so much value to if we bought this at a restaurant. I know because we this is what I ordered last time. Yeah. And I get the salmon all the time and it's 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 pricey. It it is. So Butcher Box, not only is it convenient, shows up at your door, you can pull it out whenever you're ready to use your your meat. 
high quality, amazing, amazing flavors. Yeah, so I love this. great value. It's incredible. So make sure you check out the link in the description box and check it out because you can still get that the wing. That's what that amazing. Thing what do they call that thing? Wings, wings for, for life. life. Yeah, you can still get the wings for life uh, discount. That's, so that's amazing. It is amazing. So yeah, we're, we're thrilled. Oh yeah. This was amazing. We had such a great experience with I know, this. I actually so, love this. Yeah, we're gonna um, clearly stuff our faces and maybe invite our children to actually eat with us. <laughs> or we just eat by ourselves for once. I know, I know. I'm like, us. ooh, our little, oh, you can forget oh, the cocktails. Our yes. You can make those cocktails for the kids and just leave the vodka out. Yeah. I think they would love that, wouldn't they? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I feel like we're in a, like a fine dining restaurant experience here. It's amazing. We're just like taking things up to the next level here at the House of Valentina. Wow. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as we did because <laughs> it was yummy and uh, yeah. Uh, start doing these more often. I know. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. Hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Cheers.